G'day viewers, my name is Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. There's an artist in every family throughout the world and lots of times there's an artist deep down inside all of us as well. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles and mums and dads and come and see how some of the best artists in Australia do what they do. Well, good day viewers and welcome back to Colour in Your Life. We've got a very exciting uh, lady with us today. Um, has a very, uh, very varied past. Goes under the, uh, the pseudonym of Kerry Millard and also her name is Kerry Thompson, so I'd like you to introduce you to the viewers. Okay. Um, Kerry has got a, a really wide and, and varied background, great philosophy on life. If you read her uh, CV, which you can obviously see on the side, um, just amazing in the way that she views the world. Originally came to Australia in 73 and studied mm -hmm. to be a vet. Yep. And from there? Yeah, became a vet, started moving, uh, did some cartoons for a dog training club newsletter. Yeah. Uh, people liked the cartoons, I thought, well, maybe I could be a cartoonist for a while. I'd stopped vet temporarily. Um, got work on the City Morning Herald freelancing. Sure. Took stuff to publishers. I'd always thought it would be interesting to illustrate kids' books. Yeah. Got some work doing that. And in saying that, I'm quite sure you've all heard of the movie Nems Island and the book Nems Island. This lady is the illustrator for that book, and it's printed in 26 different languages, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's just amazing. It's, and it's this is amazing. this is the Slovakian version of it. I can't I can't speak Slovakian, of course, but that's just amazing. And you actually were on the set with um, Jodie Foster as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Wendy Orr wrote the wrote the book, and she and I were invited to be extras on the movie, and it was just so fantastic to spend three days watching how they do all this stuff. That's and, amazing. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, just they're lovely, lovely people. And yeah. It was, yeah, really fascinating. And I, and I love your philosophy um, as well. I mean, uh, once again, reading Kerry's CV, great philosophy towards life. I mean, I really love the way you think. It's about, it's about the education, but it's about the emotion that art does and how mm. it can change people's lives. Tell me a little bit more about that and the workshops that you do too. Um, I, I, having worked for many years as a cartoonist and illustrator, mm -hmm. I wanted to get away from the rules. A cartoon is this big and illustrations that big. I wanted to just be able to do whatever. So I, I got a canvas and I got some paints and I started to play. Yeah. And I realized, I, I've also done a little bit of clowning, a bit of therapeutic clowning. And the thing that I love about that, it's all about play. We don't as adults play. Yeah. And, and people will say, no, no, we do, we play sport. But you don't play sport. Sport has rules and, and it's competing. Play is when we go, oh, 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 I know, let's play, in, we're in the jungle, you can be the lion yeah. and I'll be the giraffe. And you say, okay, oh, but I know we're in a castle as well. And you're sort of building and changing the rules as you go along. Yeah. On canvas, I, I've done watercolours and other things as, as well, which I really love, but there were constraints. So I picked up acrylics because you can build up mm -hmm. on top. So what I started doing is just throwing colour on. Mm -hmm. turn, turn it upside down, go away, have a cup of tea, come back, turn it on its side and just let whatever happens happen. We respond emotionally to different colours, yeah. just let that happen. Yeah, and it's, I mean, and, and in looking at your work, it's a very emotive type of style, it really is, and you basically, you. you go with the flow of the energy that you're feeling at the time. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are very yeah. constrained, they'll sort of go, well, this is going to be a duck and it'll be exactly like a duck, but you just simply start to paint, and it's yeah. like, well, okay, yeah. I don't know where this is going to take me, but you were just simply on a journey. You, you did say at some stage somebody said you were a landscape artist and you've gone, no, oh yes, maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, no, that's right, because I realise I have done a lot of landscapes, yeah. but I, I, I'm, I'm restless. In fact, I have lots of theories and I'm building on them all the time, but mm -hmm. I think creativity is a restlessness yeah. and I like inventing, I like exploring. I don't want to learn how to paint and then paint lots of scenes that way. Yeah. I like every canvas to be new and to be discovering new things. So yeah. I challenge myself all the time. And I have a ball. The day I realised you can do anything, yeah. 
I just was so excited. That's great. And, and the other thing I realized too, and this has really helped me, I'm not pretending to be anything. Yeah. I'm just singing my own little song. Sure. And when I'm singing my little song, two things happen. A really genuine thing comes out. It really is me on canvas. But also other people have been responding to that, which has been very exciting because we all respond to colors and relationships and shapes and things. But I'm interested to see what other people do. That's their personality. That's their song. It doesn't matter if other people like it or not. Some, some will, some won't. Yeah. But every time I start to think, is this a good painting? I just think, do, do, does it take me somewhere? If it does, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, and if I start feeling threatened, I go, I'm just singing my little song. And all of a sudden <laughs> I just go, oh, that's all right then. <laughs> I can great. do this now. <laughs> but in, in, in a sense, I mean, that's what I think what, um, we as adults lose a great deal and it's the idea of your philosophy and the show as well is that you know it's a great exploration of life and mm. this is part and parcel of who we are and uh, to the extent that um, going back over here I mean you've published these books as well under the pseudonym of Kerry Millard mm -hmm. and, and, and has that helped you develop into what you're doing from being a cartoonist and an illustrator to where you are now is there a, is there a synergy involved in that at all? <laughs> it's funny you should say that because when I started, I hadn't ever used a canvas, I hadn't used acrylic paints. And I thought, well, I don't know what I'm doing, I, I, I'm starting from scratch. But after I'd been painting for a little while, a friend of mine said, um, but you've been illustrating and cartooning all these years, you, you already know a lot of stuff. And it was really interesting because I realised everybody brings a lot of stuff to the canvas or the paper or or the song or the dance, whatever you're doing, it's all part of you. It's like your handwriting. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're never starting from scratch, ever. Yeah. But that's what interests the rest of us about looking at your work. Yeah. You may think, oh, it's not as good as Leonardo da Vinci or whatever. No, it's different because yeah. his handwriting is different to yours. Yeah. Like it's yours. And that's, I want to see yours. Like yeah. I'm really interested to see what your personality is when it comes out on a canvas or a song or tap dancing or whatever. Yeah. And that's the beauty about um, creativity. There is no pass or fail. There is no mm. right or wrong. There just is. And oh, it basically yeah. is about the way that you want to perceive the situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're going to show us today. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, things I have no idea what I'm doing. But, but, I, but I think that's great I th because it's just an adventure. It really is an adventurous process. And I think that in many senses you speak to the majority of the people out there that really are afraid yep. to get started. Yeah. And it's just go, just go and do it. That's really what it comes down to. Well, I mean, the thing is when I say I have no idea what I'm doing, do you have any idea how relaxed that makes me feel? Absolutely. It means there are absolutely no expectations. I'm just going to sing my own little song. <laughs> and um, it happens different ways. Sometimes I'm in the paddock and I have no idea what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm in the studio looking at photos of somewhere I've been and I have no idea what I'm doing. And other times, most often, I start just with colour on a canvas and see where it goes. Let's get a start on this then. That's what, that's what the viewers are aching to see. Okay. This, this adventure on canvas. First thing I have to do is say, okay, I, I'm already excited. Yeah. I just look at the tubes of paint yeah. and, and already I'm excited. I have paintbrushes. Huge amount of paintbrushes. And they're, the more horrible they are, the better I like them. And then sometimes I just use these little plastic paint plates I pick up from the supermarket. Cool. And again, I'm really lazy. I don't clean up as I go along. I have a bucket and I just keep throwing them in the bucket. So the way I start is I pick up a really fantastic colour yeah. and I squooch it out onto my palette. Yeah. The thing about those, those uh, interactive colours is they're so rich, Yeah. they just hold their shape so well. Some, some acrylics you get, they just sort of fall away. Yeah. These guys, you squeeze yeah. it out, it stays exactly the same. Now a friend gave some of these to me to try and I just fell in love with them. I love, they're really juicy. Yeah. They, they've got a I really like, nice I like, texture. I like that word, just yeah, juicy. Yeah, juicy, juicy. They dry a little bit less quickly than the other ones, which is particularly good if you're painting outside, but yeah. they're very creamy. Oh, yeah. love them. All right, we've got our palette. Okay. We're ready to go. <laughs> so, this is the point, the second point at which I get really excited when I just see all those colors. Uh -huh. So what I do is I, I start with a big fat brush and I just look at the colors for a minute and think, okay, what color do I feel like starting with? And um, I'm actually feeling like orange today, so I'm just going to wipe it on. 
And then I love what happens when you put colours okay. beside <laughs> each other. And I notice how you're holding that brush, you're sort of holding it like a sword. <laughs> I don't know, you just... I See, now I'm getting excited already. <laughs> now I just feel like putting some of this on. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just enjoying the colour. Yeah. I'm, I'm conscious of what the relationships are. Like, I love how a blue will turn into a green and mix together. Look, it's just fun. It's just really exciting. Uh, and the thing that really interests me is how colours make us feel. They make you feel an emotion. Mm -hmm. And you can put a painting up on the internet and somebody can see it on the other side of the world and feel the same thing that you felt when you were making the painting. Sure. I've, I've just got myself... Uh, I've just got these pots mm -hmm. because I've been in tubes up till now and I sure. just want bigger and more. So I'm excited. You just want to layer the stuff on. Just, <laughs> I just want to put more on. <laughs> I think in our society, we're afraid to do things uh, often unless we've had lessons. Uh, play a musical instrument or, or dance or whatever it is. It's, it's almost as if if we haven't taken lessons, then we shouldn't dare to do it. And if we have taken lessons well, we're just a student. And, yeah. and if we're not being paid for it, we're not prof professional, so therefore, you know, we're not legitimate. Instead of just doing it. Now, even though I don't know where I'm going, I have a plot. I'm, I'm absolutely loving the fact that we can be so adventurous with this, and that's really what this is, this is about. It's what Kerry's uh, uh, philosophy is about, but I think it's what the, the show's about as well, is that nothing's impossible if you have a go at it. You know, you've just got to try. I've had work in yeah, Art in the Blue Gum in Balmain, and people will say, oh, aren't you nervous putting your work out there where people can see it? No, because I like singing. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is quite strange, even as an artist myself, and maybe the viewers that are watching now. You're actually starting to form a mental image in your head, but I'm starting to form a mental image in my head of what it looks like as well, what it could potentially be. Now, obviously I can't go up and touch your canvas, but I'm sort of thinking, <laughs> don't you dare do that. <laughs> but I'm thinking that, I'm looking at it going, I can actually see, um, a scene and some shapes in there as well. But see now what I'm likely to do with this one is to turn it around. All just of a sudden it just becomes... To get a different feel. You know what I've actually... You, you know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at this is the beach. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. the water's just coming but you're looking at it from above. Mm -hmm. And it's a landscape as you're flying over the top of it. Yep. That's just yep. my interpretation of course but we're actually above the situation now. Yeah. But that's not yours, of course. <laughs> I have none. I have no interpretation at this okay. point, consciously. As you can see, viewers, by watching Kerry, she's a very animated lady. And I think that there's a reason for that. And she also worked with Patch Adams as a clown in Russia. Uh, when did you do that? Oh, dear me. That was in 2007, I think. That's pretty cool. He, he goes every year. He takes 30 to 40 people. Yeah for two weeks, anybody can go. Um, I was very interested in therapeutic clowning yeah. and I had been doing some clowning um, at fates and with people with dementia. Because yeah. uh, clowning is play. Well, or the kind of clowning that I really liked. Fantastic experience, hospitals, great kids, great people. And I'm just really enjoying the shapes and as I said, I do have a plot. Is this one to take over the world or is it just about the painting? <laughs> <laughs> I say to anybody who wants to play around this way, go into an art shop, wander around and see what colours make your heart go pitter-pat. And those are the ones to use. And if you do something you don't like, often keep going. Yeah. Because if, um, this is a really interesting thing I've discovered, which probably everybody else knew, but if you only do the things that you like, then you keep stopping at the same place and you never find out what goes beyond that. Yeah. There was one painting I did that it was very dark. It had a lot of bright colours in it but the sky was really black and it was a landscape. And I, my heart was pumping away as I was doing that. 
and I had no idea whether anybody else would respond to it or not. Well, in, at my little pop-up gallery, a couple came in. They were from the bush, and they were heading back out to the bush. We had a good chat, and then they left. And 10 minutes later, they came back. They got to the car, and the husband said he couldn't live without that painting. Ah, is that right? Wow, that's just so amazing. But that was because I went in a direction that scared me. Yeah. And so something... Um, new happened that I wouldn't have experienced otherwise. Yeah, it's that fear thing that, that's the one word that controls all of our lives, as you well know. Uh, yeah. Get, get up every day yep. and that's the one that says, this is the way the day's going to go. Yeah. You have to sort of say, no, yeah. not today, I'm not doing it. And it's paint, it's paint, <laughs> it's not that scary. Yeah. I have some very busy paintings. Mm -hmm. You can see why. I like to leave a restful space sometimes, uh -huh. where your eye can just go and go, ah. <sighs> And then it can go, okay, off I go again. Get into it again. So have you got any, any influences at all? I mean, I look at some of your work sometimes and I see a little bit of Matisse popping through. Um, is there anybody that's influenced you over the years at all? Or any artists that you've particularly enjoyed? I think I'm influenced by lots of different people. Like, mm -hmm. whenever you look at something that resonates with you, you're being affected by it. and. If you like a Matisse, it's because that's resonating, I think. Mm -hmm. Probably growing up in Canada, the group of seven who painted in bold brushstrokes, they were very aware of how colours buzzed off each other. Now, I didn't study them because I, I didn't study art per se, but I loved them. Their work was around and it was the northern sky, the northern light. Mm -hmm. I think I'm hugely influenced by having grown up in Canada sure. with the, the colours yeah. of the leaves, which are just so beautiful. I've seen a lot of the, um, when I lived in Alaska, uh, and there was a lot of reds and blues together. Mm, uh, because mm. of the, the colours of the cold colours of the snow, but then you get these uh, these brilliant sunsets. I love when you apply the thickness of the paint, just makes it so much richer. Because the pigment just uh, you, you can't the light can't get through it and it just stands out. So I'm not doing much more at the moment. I'm just. Um I've, I've decided to go back to plan A and I know what that's going to be so I just want lots of interesting stuff happening in the background. It's great to see that's how you paint, that's how you come up with what you do. I mean it's the most amount of brushes I've ever seen used by an artist but that's what you do. So. <laughs> and I, I really love a fresh brush and I really love a clean colour, hence. <laughs> hence those clean colours and use, a fresh brush. Use many brushes. <laughs> We have turned la canvas. Now my heart's pounding because I have an idea but I don't know how this is going to go. She's got a pounding heart. Alrighty. It's like venturing into the jungle with only a, only a pocket knife watching Kerry paint. <laughs> you just, you don't know what's going to happen next. You've yeah. sort of got to be game to go over everything I suppose, don't you? Yeah, Not this is the thing, you can just let go of it. Yeah. But it needed to be there in the first place. Yeah. These will be trees. And I've run out of justice, so I'm going to use the titanium white, which I would use to finish off anyway. Uh-huh. But it gives such a beautiful, strong white. The thing I love about in the bush is you don't see you don't see a whole tree all mm -hmm. at once. Mm -hmm. You see bits of it and then your brain puts it all together. What I'm really wanting to do is have a really wide tree, but I, I'm hesitating to cover over what's before. It's that thing of letting go. Let go. And then when you think about it, there are branches going in all, over all the different life. directions. Yeah. And we don't have to know which tree they came from. One goes one way, one goes the other way. And those darker streaks become trees that are a bit further in the background. Uh -huh. Oh, menagerie of leaves and branches. But I also love the white on the colour, so it in itself is quite pleasing. Mm -hmm. Ghost gums in a rainbow forest. <laughs> nice. Mm. 
And there's just a kind of emotion that starts happening. Mm -hmm. It's very free flowing, right from the beginning. See, this is where my heart starts pounding. I start getting really excited at this sort of stage. Because that now has turned from colours on a canvas into a place. This is beginning to take me to a place. And I'm almost thinking, when I look into the background now, it's like one of those rock faces out near Uluru. And you've got the sandstone coming down with the, with the green shrubs and then the ghost gums growing up in front of it. Once again, only my interpretation, of course. No, but that's the thing about the Australian countryside is often you'll see this sort of thing with an uh -huh. obvious stand of trees. Um, and then through them you'll see magic. So when do you feel that you know that you've actually completed the mission? Is there well, something that sort of says, yes, no, how do I do that? Um, <clears throat> when a painting feels familiar, when it, when it gets to a point where I feel as if I've lived with it forever, mm -hmm. then I know it's there, it just feels right. Sure. That's what they all say. Coming down into a little... Looks great. It looks just really there. dynamic. From where we started, to, like there's a whole story there now. It's been a great day. Um, viewers, as you can see, she's really created such an amazing work. Uh, it, it's so different from where we started compared to where we are now. You sort of took a whole bunch of different tangents to get to the place where you wanted to go. Okay. But it's been an absolute pleasure and I think the work is uh, just amazing. It Thank really you is. so much. That's it's it. been really fun. I've really enjoyed it. It's been Thank a great you. day. And um, uh, you can go and see uh, Kerry's work in the website at www.colourinyourlife.com.au. We've got some amazing prizes and competitions in there these days. We're giving away original paintings, so make sure you come in and put your details down. Artists, you're obviously always welcome. And Canson and Cromer uh, have really got behind colour in your life these days, and they've actually got some great prizes and competitions in there. So come in and be part of what we're doing. And remember, until we see you again, make sure you put some colour in your life. See you next time. G'day viewers and welcome to Brisbane Art Expo. As you can see it's been really successful. Now remember we're off to Sydney on uh, September the 21st to the 23rd and Canberra in October from the 20th to the 21st. Now come along and see all of the artists, all of the great work that we've got here. There's workshops on, there's seminars, buy some art, talk to the artists. Come to Sydney, see you in September, you'll have a great time.